We begin in Cameroon, where the ongoing conflict in English-speaking regions has taken another twist after. And this time, the military has set up checkpoints along the road to Bamenda and is engaging in extortion of money from tax drivers, which means that students from a nearby university have to pay more than usual in transport costs. Despite many schools closed for security reasons, the remaining are not either safe from the way security operations are carried out, especially that the soldiers are even taking the little that they earn. From Bamenda, Jean-Marie Gongsong reports. This is City Chemist Roundabout at the heart of Bamenda, Cameroon. It is one of the main junctions where city dwellers bought taxis to Bambui and Bambilim. Amongst those in the queue to board a taxi to the University of Bamenda is Terence, a first-year student in the Department of Chemistry. He says the heightened insecurity around the university has forced many students like him to commute between the campus and the town, Bamenda, where he has to stay. But the seven checkpoints that he has to go through before he gets to his destination are a nightmare. Drivers say, first of all, the roads are bad, which is true. The roads are very bad. They waste so much time on the road. And so because of the bad nature of roads, they waste so much time on the road and they want to cover up by adding the fare. Because of the numerous police and military checkpoints along the road, they have to add up the fare so that they can balance, you know, their expenditure. Then on the part of us students, it is very, it's really affecting us because you go late to most of your classes. The distance that is supposed to be done in less than 20 minutes, you, you find yourself using an hour ah, to get to school in a distance that you should use just 20 minutes and it is done. So it's really a big problem. Like Terence, Sibylin and Von Glory also decried these multiple checkpoints on the university road resulting in the arbitrary increase in taxi fare which is determined by every driver. It is very disheartening that just a short distance from Bamenda to Bambili, you meet a lot of police checkpoints on the way, and this is uh, seriously affecting drivers and us students because in each of the checkpoints, drivers have been asked to pay money in the form of bribe, and this makes uh, them to increase the transport fare. Can you imagine that from Bamenda to Bambili now you are asked to pay 700, which is more. In each of these checkpoints, you find policemen standing with guns, which is very frightening because one cannot detect when he or she can be shot. Those checkpoints, they, they really affect my studies because most of the times I usually come late to school and uh, the, uh, the transport fare has increased too. Taxi drivers on their part say the situation is chaotic and has forced them to add up the transport fare as a way of making up their daily revenue. They say even with the fare increase, only God can help them from the extortion by men and women in uniform. First time, first time before, we would settle like, we settle like just two control for road. At first, it was just two checkpoints along the road, but now they are more than eight. Some of these police are supposed to be guards at schools and in banks. They leave their place of work and come out to do road checks. All this makes the work difficult for us. At first, I could earn 10,000 a day. But now, after I have settled all the controls, I can go home with four to five thousand francs. Now the students from the University of Bamenda have taken to the social media platforms to vent out their frustration. A report by Jean-Marie Gongsong in Bamenda. And as you heard, Zippy, in that report, the last person who suffers most are the students who no longer live at campus and have to commute between Bamenda and the university, and the fares are really high. Of course, that is really a setback for students because traveling and, of course, having to concentrate on studies, as I said, I think, Isaac, something should really be done. I'm just imagining how, you know, a bank or school guard just leaves their place of work and they go to set up a road check just to extort money from drivers. Tell us what you think about this particular story. And as usual, your platform is DW Africa, the Facebook. Now, Kenya might soon have a third gender introduced.